um, it's um, funny because I was watching, I think it snapped this morning from James Charles, and he was talking about, um, why are you out of place? I'm sorry. Focus, Jennifer, focus. He was talking about, I forgot. That's what he was talking about. I totally did forget. Oh my God, where did we go? I don't know. Hello, guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new, thank you for joining. If you're not new, thank you for coming back. I'm gonna be doing an eye look today, again using the James Charles palette. I'm gonna do something subtle this time, not too bold, something that you guys could wear every day and something that I can actually go out and not be looked at and judge for being good looking, high maintenance. More for looking high maintenance because I'm not really high maintenance. I'm a do-it-yourself type of girl. I can actually have a beat on my face and go do mechanic work with no problem <laughs> but that's just me um i'm looking at myself and it's like whoa i have everything else on except my eyes and it looks so funny so let's go ahead and get started and then i'm going to talk about some of the products i used um at the end of the video um i'm going to talk a little bit more in this video so that way you know you can see most of the products that I use instead of just reading it in the description box. So, and of course, here a little more of my um, interestingness, let's call it. So, let's get started. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit more. If you saw my video, um, the last one I did on this palette, which was yesterday, I put it live. That color right there. Oh, Jesus, I can't hold this stuff. That color right there is the one I stabbed. And I stabbed this one a little too quick. Look it. It's such a beautiful color. I'm sorry. Don't worry. We're going to play with you next. I promise. Okay, let's get started. Um, he was talking about some of these colors got to be patted down, but to be honest with you, the ones that I have used lately, I haven't had to do that. So I'm sure that I'm going to hit one that needs to be like patted down like this, but so far so good. They've been working great. Um, today I'm actually uh, going a little crazy, you could say, and instead of using the P. Louise, um, eyelid base which is this one right here i actually went lightly with concealer and i wanted to test it out i'm not gonna lie i wanted to test it out and so far so good but if i run into one that is like what did i do i'm going to kill myself <laughs> okay now because then i can enjoy the palette and do more makeup <laughs> and you guys can't hear my cookiness so let's continue I'm going to shut up now. Those colors are blending beautifully, let me tell you. I am a girl that I like to use my brushes on both sides. <laughs> and it works, especially if you're blending two colors together. Um, why not, right? So I start off with one color on one side. And then I switch it over and do the other one. Oh my god, and these colors are so pretty. And they blend so nicely. I mean, you can see it there. Okay, let's move on to the other. Okay. I don't know which side. Oh, I grabbed the right side. And those little hairs, they stick up, you know. They're just like, hello, notice me. I'm here too. No, it's not your turn. We are 
on eyes right now. Um, I was, I did this other side, yeah, this side <laughs> off camera. That way, you know, I'd save some time. But at least you guys can see one. Um, one of the things I constantly say is blend, 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 blend. And when you dab into your color, make sure you dab off. <laughs> I forgot that process and this one started to come out a little bit darker than the other one but it's a fix that you can definitely do but if you start with a little bit and build up it's so much better than going in with such a deep color and you're like oh my god what did I do what did I do and I always go in and I'll blend oh, where is it this one and I'll blend out the edges using a little bit of the crease color that I used I like the fact that they put the color names, but they did it on the little plastic thing. And I'm not going to lie, it would have been so nice, like, right underneath. So then I can look and tell you. Now I would have to go behind me and grab the thing. And, well, I'm not going to do that. It's going to take more time. So definitely all the colors will be listed in the description below or maybe at the end of the video. Okay, so I'm going to try that color that I just pointed at, and I'm going to do it with a dry brush. And I'm not even going to cut it because I want to see like how pigmented these shimmers are. I've tried, I did try, I think it was another one next to it, the lighter one, um, in the other look that I did, and it was pretty good. So let's try. Oh my, can you see that? I could definitely say that. Oh my goodness, let's get all the way because right now we're in the in, inner corner. So maybe if we work it out, you will see it much better. Wow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is beautiful. I put this lip color earlier, which is from Ofra. Um, what's it called? Bar Bal Hubbard Hubbard Bal Hubbard what a name but it's a beautiful color and I'm hoping it goes so far it's going because I was like if it doesn't go well I am taking it off and putting another one but it's working this color is gorgeous and these colors are definitely blending beautifully so so far second time it's been worth it. So I'm starting with this, it's like a reddish brown, that's all I can explain to it. This reddish brown that I started over here, this area, and I'm just like moving it. So that way they can blend perfect. Then I'll go with the other nice chocolatey brown and just Go over the, the outer edge and go over that color so you know we tone it down a little bit. And then I come back. I literally do come back with the gold. And I go over to make sure that they are seamless. In the beginning this used to take me forever. With practice, I've gotten so much better, but there's moments where no matter how much practice you have, you're just going to have an off day, and it's okay. We all have them. No biggie. Oh, yes. This is looking lovely. <laughs> like I've shown you guys before, I take the brush and I just push down and make the edge like this. I don't know, I've always done that, and there's times where I'll use the proper brush for it, but most of the time, this is what I did. So I starting, I'm starting, I started with um, the crease color, because I like to start with that, make a little base of it, you know, so everything else can blend better. So let's start with the, with the brown. Dab it off a little, because boy, that took a lot. mind you guys you have to make faces okay it is not proper makeup etiquette if you don't make faces 
this part scares me because there's times that I have put the brush in my eyeball and it's wet the brush which has made the color more intense but my eyeball suffered through it. Not fair. How many of you um, have to do this and all these beautiful lines that it's like they're called expressions but I call them evil evil lines because then they mark it up and my forehead is already big as big enough as it is that I don't need that. <laughs> I don't know. Do you guys struggle with that? If you do, let me know. Let me know I'm not alone. If you don't, you're blessed. I even do like a little line, I'll wing it out a little bit. <laughs> kind of gives me the preparing line for when I go in with the liner, which that's what I'm going to do now. Oh no, wait, how dare I? How dare I forget? My brain, where are you? I have to go with that beautiful gold color. And I like to put it right in here. Just like pressing it in without getting the eyeball in. I was trying to do a subtle look, right? Somehow this turned into something else. How many of you do that? How many of you start out with, I'm going to do a natural look, and all of a sudden it's like, ba bam You went all out. <laughs> I do that a lot. But I can't help it. I just start playing with colors and before I know it, 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 things happen. And it's okay. We accept it. And we move on. Okay, eyeliner is on. A little subtle, not too much, but enough to give it that, you know, little cat eye look. Okay, I used um, Dark Man Eater. I love this one. I can't help it. I love it. It's just so smooth to do an eyeliner with and when you're starting you want something smooth. I actually just ordered the Kat Von D that tattoo one. I love that one as well. It's really really good. But mine I used so much that it was already dried out. So I'm gonna put on these lashes which are from Juno and Company. Look how pretty they are. I'm holding this because this thing comes apart. Like literally watch. <laughs> A little everything comes apart but they're only a dollar, and believe it or not, they're actually really, really good. I like lashes with a thin band. I I don't mind the thicker band, but they're more um, uncomfortable. And unless I'm going somewhere that requires a drastic look, or if I'm doing a very bold eye and I want a great picture for Instagram or any of my social medias, then I'll go ahead and use that. But these are so pretty that... Even though they're simple, they do have a little dramaticness. So I'm going to pop these on and then show you how they look. I'll be back. I'm going over. Stay right there. Because I can see you. I can see you. Okay. okay, so lashes are on. Um, I didn't cut these. And these are actually brand new. I haven't used this one. Um, I would love to tell you what name or number they actually go by number um see what i mean can't flip it <laughs> you gotta hold it i want to say those are either 44 or 46 um actually no not 46 they're probably like 44 or 48 or it's some 40 because they were numbered but they were on the plastic that went over it instead of actually like Maybe being in the back would have been nice or on this, but I tried taking one off to put it on this. It didn't work. It didn't work. So I put the lashes on. I went over the top, right underneath my um, brow line with the Wet n Wild Creme Brulee. I always love to use that and like a little brush. These brushes I've had for over 20 something years. This is this twin. And believe it or not, back then, I didn't use brushes. I was always using the stupid little sponge thing. So now I know why my makeup game is really bad. <laughs> but I'm going to go in with Ring Light. Which is that beautiful, this color right here. Sorry, that's my umbrella lights. <sighs> Even with those, I, tend, I see them. My videos, um, lights go in and out. <laughs> so they're not working very well, are they? So I'm going to go ahead and pop this in my inner corner. Wow. Yes, ring light. You are working for me. For a second, I thought it was called highlight. And I was like, that's perfect. But it's called ring light. But I, I know that these names have a meaning. That one I, that doesn't come to my head right now. But um, it definitely um, 
has the word light, which is perfect. Now I'm going to go under my brow line just to, you know, make that pop like that. It's beautiful. I love it. Love, love, love. If you are starting new with makeup, um, don't be disappointed if you feel like you take forever. I have taken many hours in the beginning, but with practice, you do get better. Like this look right here, in reality, if I wasn't talking through it, I would have been done with it in about 20 minutes. If I would have done this look a while back, <laughs> like my family always makes fun of me and says I take forever. It's it's not because I don't already know it, it's because I enjoy it. This is like, I tell a lot of people, this is my therapy. This is what makes me happy. This is what I enjoy doing. So even if I didn't do it for YouTube or for Instagram or any of the social medias, I do it for myself because it makes you feel better. And if it makes you feel better, hey, anybody that makes fun of it, let them make fun of it. Because as long as you're happy, that's all that matters. Am I right? So, I'm going to zoom you out a little bit and we're going to talk a little bit about products. Okay, so let's talk about the products that are on my face. Um, like I said in the beginning of the video, even if I didn't, I think I did. This is going to be a little extra longer because I'm going to talk a little bit more. Um, most of it I'm going to speed through, but most of it I'm going to talk. So, on my face, as far as primer, I put this Matchbox Photo Finish. I put um, Born This Way from Too Faced. This one is ivory. I, when I was at the store, I swear I, I went through so many bottles trying them on my skin. And I'm thinking, okay, I got the right one. It's a little lighter than, than my chest. But not that much. So it doesn't look bad. So I make it do. And anyway, it's winter time. We already know what's going to happen. We all get white as a ghost and it's all good. I also use the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid and I put those on the corners right here, these little areas, just to give it a nice little glow from within. I love it, but when you go over with powder, it does down, dull down a little bit, so beware of that. On my brows, I actually use the, <laughs> I should have had this stuff, <laughs> I use the Anastasia um, Brow Wiz. This one I think is in medium. Is it a medium? Medium brown, yes. I used that and I went over with the Benefit. Um, what's this called? Gimme Brow. This little mini one that I got. I went over with that. My setting powders. My setting powder today, believe it or not, was <gasps> Cody Airspun. It is so good. This is translucent. I love this. I set my under eyes and I actually went all over my face with it. If not, I normally use the Hourglass Veil because I love that one. I use for contour. Something's gonna fall. I can see it. Oh, I skip. I skip concealer, but I'm coming. I'm coming. I use the Wet n Wild Dulce de Leche. I love this. This is my go-to. I, I haven't really found that. Another um, contour that's, that's good. My concealer is Tarte Shape Tape. I'm using these two because when I went to buy, I don't know if you remember my other video I talked about it, I couldn't find my shade. So I had, I've gotten a fair and a medium and I mix them together and it makes the perfect color. <laughs> and then guess what? You got more product for a longer time. Um, I used the Hourglass Luminous Light. Because I like that overall sheen look. Um, this is beautiful. I tend to put that in this area right here. I don't go too much here, even though that I know Jacqueline Hill does. But she does not have the pores that I do. And if she does, she needs to let me know what spackling paste she uses. Because I can see them. But mine, I noticed that they do pop up. For my highlighter, I went with Becca. And this is, what is this one? These letters, they need to be like bigger, you know? As you get older, these eyes don't work. This is the Pearl Flashes Gold. It is a gorgeous, like, well, maybe right there, you can see a little bit of the gold shimmers, but I, I love it. I love any of the Becca highlighters. They are incredible. Um, my blush that I used today was from Anastasia. It's this dual, and I used these two right here. I mixed them, so. This one is Blush Trio Pool Party. Pool Party. For my bronzer, I use Laura Mercier. 
this gorgeous. This is Bronze 02. It's so pretty and I love it. I actually got it from them and I do continue to use the things that I do receive. So as you can see, my eyelashes I showed you and I always use the dual um, glue. This is the brush one because believe it or not, like some of the other glues that I use, they irritate my eyes quickly and I start to cry. And of course you cry, you mess up your makeup. I've used their little pump one, black too, and it does not work. It makes me cry though. I don't get it. It should be the same ingredients. And I kid you not, I went into it saying this is going to work because it's the same brand. I used the white. The white makes me cry. This is the only one. And I went and I ordered this. I think on eBay because I couldn't find it anywhere else. And believe it or not, I go to Sephora that opened up near me and boom. <laughs> There's like 500 of them there. So now I know for next time. But I have two of these as backup. And I'm still using the original one. I think I covered everything. The eyeliner I talked about. Yeah, that's pretty much the brushes I tend to use are either from Morocco. Morocco's. Um, I have Wet n Wild. I have Morphe. Um, what's this one? Luxie brushes. This is that. That one that I put the Hourglass Luminous Light. Um... That's pretty much the brushes that I tend to use. Oh, I use um, Shayna B Miami. Their brushes are great and their sponges are amazing as well. They have lashes now, which I use in the last one. I love them as well. Um, I have a lot of products. I'm into it. And all well, for a lipstick I talked about too. This These lipsticks are great. They're comfortable. Um, I really want to get a few more colors from them. This was given to me, so thank you all for, for giving me this. I appreciate it. The sponge, I use a sponge today because I like to use sponges. This is for Morphe. I really like their sponges too. They're good. So I alternate. Everybody gets love in this home. Everybody. Nobody's left out. I like to use a little bit of everything. I actually have so many highlighters in there that I need to get. I have from... Um, Flower Beauty, oh my god, their highlighters are really good. A lot of the products from Flower Beauty are great. This little shirt I'm wearing today, <laughs> believe it or not, I got this at Goodwill, people, because you can find some really cute things at Goodwill, and I didn't wear it before because I thought it was so tight, and today it doesn't feel tight, and I'm like, really? I'm actually heavier. How did this happen? I don't know. But it's working for me today. So I put this on. But that's pretty much all, guys. Um, if you have any questions, please list them below. If you have any suggestions or videos you want to watch, please list them below. I think I've talked enough because I'm already at six, almost seven minutes here. Um, but please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like. Hit the little notification bell so that way you are notified when I put up a video. And I hope you guys like this look and I hope you come back again. Until then, you all have a great week. Um, stuff your faces. Oh, this is probably more after the day that you're going to be stuffing your faces. So, enjoy. Take care. Okay, so let's do the bottom. The bottom lash. Um, my leg is asleep right now and it's like, wake up. <laughs> Please. I don't like the feeling and I'm supposed to concentrate on what I'm doing but all I'm thinking is move the leg, move the leg. Yes, it's making noise because I need a new chair. But it's okay. Let's do the bottom.